The Nordic skies were busy as Arctic Challenge 2017 came to a close. The 48th Fighter Wing and 100th Air Refueling Wing represented the U.S. with a combined total of 14 aircraft and over 200 personnel training alongside 10 other participating nations. For them, this was an opportunity to strengthen relationships and improve capabilities. Our primary objectives of participating in Arctic Challenge are to increase our capability to interoperate with our, our allies and partners, build on those relationships, build the trust we have amongst each other. These military-to-military -military operations allow us to get to know the individuals on the other, uh, from the other nations, but then also to get to know how they do operations, so that in the future, we have the ability right off the bat to start working together very, uh, very closely. Finland took the lead in this biennial multinational exercise, aiming to grow alongside its partners and looked forward to the United States once again training with them. They are very pro professional and uh, they have uh, done this, uh, this kind of scenarios or training uh, much more than we do. They are uh, many times been deployed it and uh, they have a different background for this kind of training. So we, are, we have been learning a lot. Every country involved brought something to the table, and now that it's over, the question is, what did everyone take away from the experience? The, the Finnish Air Forces provide us with some very robust and challenging scenarios that each country would approach slightly differently. And what we found is by working together and, and leveraging the capabilities of each different nation uh, in, a, in a synchronous way, we can achieve better results together. Arctic Challenge is one of Europe's largest exercises this year. It was hosted by Finland, Norway, and Sweden. Reporting from Rovaniemi, Finland, I'm Staff Sergeant Armando Aparicio, Jr.